Well, as we all know, the Ocean State is steeped in rich history and tradition, but how can we experience all that it has to offer while educating ourselves and perhaps maybe even some out of town visitors this season and beyond? Well, fear not. We have just the man to enlighten us as we welcome back Rhode Island historian, <laughs> owner of Potiphar and friend of the Roadshow, Bob Burke, who is going to stop waving that flag imminently and share a few locations we can check out to enhance our 401 knowledge. Good morning, Bob. Hey, good morning. Mm. Uh, it's 4th of July week. We're going to celebrate all week, which is why I have the flag like we're still at the parade. That's right. And we're still celebrating because we're going to learn history, learn about our country all week long. Well, you and I have done a series of segments over the years going back decades where we just examine and you educate our viewers about the different you know, sites and the historical value of the Ocean State. For you, Bob, I know you really enjoy sharing that knowledge with people, don't you? I love it. And, you know, downtown Providence, there's an area that's about two football fields big that is like a historical theme park. And I thought, you know, people have got their kids on vacation. Wouldn't it be great? Come on downtown, take the kids, show them some really cool stuff, almost like they were going on different rides. So we put together a little uh, compendium of those. That's right. So we're going to wheel in the projector now and start Bob Burke's <laughs> Rhode Island slideshow. What are we looking at here? First of all, we've got some great sites to check out. We got a tropical storm coming. And if you go to Market House right downtown near uh, Hemingway's, uh, you're going to see the height of the waters that flooded Rhode Island in 1815 and again in 1938 and again in 1954. Pop the kids next to it and uh, take a picture, and uh, most of them would not have made it through the storm. So if you're really aggravated with the kids this week, <laughs> take them down and tell them what could happen. And uh, a really cool spot, like you said, take pictures and learn something at the same exactly. time. Exactly. All right, what do we have next here? Hey, our next one, you know, look at that. Did Christo come back from the dead and wrap a building in Providence? No, but that is uh, right next door to the RISD Art Museum, which is a phenomenal place to take your kids. I mean, just amazing. All right there, just a few feet away from the plaques. Yeah, and so much great artwork there as this well. This one, Providence had a tea party. 1775, we burned tea. It was the original water fire, and we burned tea on the shores of the Providence River. That's right near the hurricane plaque. So right around the corner? Yeah, or, okay. same building, the Market House. Very nice. Here we go. Korean War Memorial, right at the tip of the Memorial Park that we're entering now. And in the background, we can see the World War One. We'll have a picture of that in a minute. And this sculpture, amazing. It's a sculpture park and a park full of memorials. It's, Next one. Look at this, you're just rolling right through these. Holocaust Memorial. Who knew that we had paid tribute to the victims of the Holocaust? Again, right in the park near the World War I and World War II. This is on top of the World War Memorial. You know, in World War I, when they made this memorial, they never thought there'd be another world war. Right. They didn't call it the World War I Memorial. They just called it the World and, War Memorial, and that's the Statue of Peace, which stands on top of that memorial. And for so many of these spots, while we roll by them every single day, and it's nice to know there is value there, and it, it takes on a whole new meaning. Exactly. This is the Irish Famine Memorial. He's looking down the sea to where the coffin ships came across, so many dead on them. And they arrived. 20% around has Irish heritage. And that's right there. We know exactly right on the where river. that is. This one is the Beirut bombing memorial. This is the most recent memorial constructed. Again, right on the river, just a few feet from the Irish famine memorial. Pick a nice day. You can see all these spots. This is for the lost children. This beautiful heart rock is a, is a park that's on the river for people who've lost young children uh, due to disease or accidents. So much significance. Yep. And what's up next here? Uh, this is the Gatsby Memorial. Yes. You know, the Gatsby was planned in a bar in Providence. Of course it was. 60 Providence people rode out at 10 o'clock at night from the bar and burned the Gatsby, shot the captain, they as put, we know, in a special spot. They put down their pints. That's right. <laughs> and then took off. And this, they used to watch, this is the Custom House, and from the top of that turret, they used to watch for boats coming up the bay to get down and collect the taxes from them. Is that you on them. top of that lift? No, that's not me. I'd love to go up on that lift. <laughs> and a couple more And our here. next one, yeah. 
This beautiful fountain is a giant millstone and uh, water and stone. These are the things that built the Industrial Revolution. And Our what, next one. What, the, what is the bank there? Did it say? Oh, the that's the Gold Dome. Right. Yeah, yeah, the amazing Gold Dome. And you got to see that. That's that's absolutely incredible. This, for those of you who like the Knights Templar, okay. Who would believe the First Order of Knights Templar was founded right in downtown Providence in North America? And this concludes the Bob Burke slideshow of history. <laughs> now, I know there are a lot more, lo many more different locations and things that we can check out. But really, you can take pictures, you can immerse yourself in the history. And really, you and I like to have fun and be silly, but there are just so many learning experiences for all ages. Exactly. So celebrate the 4th of July all week long. Come on down to our historical amusement park in downtown and we'll look forward to seeing you. How do, how do you know all these? How do we know that you're correct in all of the knowledge that you're dispelling? You don't. <laughs> Dispensing, I mean. Well, he's nothing if not 100% honest, Bob. Great to see you. And thanks for the little history lesson right here. If you guys would like to review any of these great spots, of course, you can review this segment a little later at roadshow.com.